This epic superhero adventure film is the seventh installment in the multi-billion dollar X-Men film series and is poised to earn back half of its $200 million budget during its 2014 Memorial Day weekend debut. The extremely ambitious 131-minute film acts as a dual sequel to both X-Men The Last Stand and X-Men First Class. Starring in his sixth X-Men film, Hugh Jackman leads the absolutely gigantic cast of unique mutants determined to survive a deadly war in the dystopian future of 2023 by traveling back in time 50 years to stop a threat before it emerges. Let's go! Returning director Brian Singer expertly balances the parallel Inception-style narratives, and rather than being weighed down with this extra story device, the picture is instead far more engaging. Jackman is as charismatic, handsome, and able as ever, effortlessly bouncing off both groups of players. James McAvoy, Michael Fassbender, Jennifer Lawrence, and Nicholas Holt make up the past group, while Patrick Stewart, Ian McKellen, Halle Berry, and Ellen Page are featured sparingly as the future characters. Considering the size and scope of this project, it would have been easy for any number of them to have been forgotten and underutilized. And with the notable exception of Barry, whose role had to be downsized during her recent pregnancy, each individual is given ample time to showcase their powers and impressive acting talent. Meanwhile, Peter Dinklage, Evan Peters, Mark Camacho, and even some terrific cameos also make important appearances. As what could best be described as the film's conventional human antagonist, Dinklage defends his anti-mutant crusade by saying, Never before had there been a cause that could unite us as a species until now. As a huge fan of superhero films and time travel stories, I was floored by this PG-13 rated picture from the very start, which introduces us to a hellish and unforgiving future worth erasing from history. In a fantasy land where literally anything is possible, the X-Men films haven't always been able to elicit the sense of danger and urgency needed for tense and exciting action. Fortunately, that's never an issue here, with each extraordinary sequence building upon the last, towards an unstoppable consequence that looms over the entire narrative. An early prison break sequence deep beneath the Pentagon is particularly inventive and entertaining, especially when Peters hilariously listens to Jim Croce's Time in a Bottle while dispatching an incoming security force at lightning quick speed. John Ottman delivers a wonderfully bombastic musical score that besides including motifs of previous soundtracks, also helps sell the grandiose and unbelievable action on screen. Surprisingly well-paced and coherent for a picture that features this many moving parts, there's also plenty of great jokes and callbacks as well, which should delight all comic book fans. As expected, the visual effects are flawless, combined with excellent and detailed camera work make this a beautiful film to look at, and easy to follow during the hectic action sequences. Focusing on the central ideal that no matter how dark your path, it's never too late to find yourself again, this is a hopeful and dare I say inspiring story that's more than just magical mutants fighting robot soldiers. Although the X-Men canon has ostensibly been retconned by itself, the feature ends with a rewarding climax that thankfully leaves the door open for future, or should I say past, installments. It's an extremely imaginative and exciting movie that perfectly blends elements of multiple interesting genres into one extremely rewatchable experience. X-Men Days of Future Past. Compelling interplay underlines marvelous action. Another opening day review means there weren't enough of your votes or comments, but I'll score this a 9 out of 10. These types of ensemble pictures are never a surefire formula, but everything worked like gangbusters here, truly combining the best parts of the earlier pictures into one incredible experience. I thought it was very awesome. 